To be sincere, our government is committed to support uh, sports. But of course, economically, we are all, we, we know our situation. They are struggling to support us so far. But when I meet officials, the Minister of Youth and Sports and uh, the Vice President of uh, Cluster of Youth and Sports or uh, Gender and Sports and all our government, they are committed to do that. But so far we have to witness uh, the, the support. We hope they are going to support us. And uh, the words are there for support. But materially, we have to continue asking them to support us. But it's you to ask them, not, uh, not me to ask me. Uh, you, know, you have a Minister of Youth and Sports, you have all the government, go and ask them. What support are you giving to your young one in terms of development of football? And of course, I have to be sincere, until now we have a challenge for participating in African Cup of Nations, uh, no, in World Cup qualifiers. Uh, and until now, we are not, uh, for me as a president, I want to tell you, we are not sure whether we are going to participate. We remain only with, uh, with six days to travel, or five days to travel. But until now, we are not sure whether we are going to get tickets getting accommodation for our national team, bringing our national teams here, so that Nicholas uh, start uh, preparing them. Yes, he has started preparing for, for the locals who are here. But our players outside, we have difficulties in bringing them home to start the training. We have a stadium that is being paid. The stadium that we, in Senegal to play uh, Mauritania, to hire it is $80,000. Until now, we are not sure whether we will get $80,000 or not, because... So we, we have still challenges of whether we will participate. If we are not participating, we will still call you back and to, to, to announce to the public that we are not participating in World, World Cup qualifiers because of financial problem. Yeah, and then this is what you need to know. For us to prepare a national team, as supposed to be camping now. But are we able to make them in the camp? No, because we don't have finance. So where results are not good, it seems to be blaming. Why are results? People are not playing very well. There are a lot of technical things that you need to understand. Because players are supposed to go to the camp early, so that you increase the fitness, increase the training, and if you don't put them in the camp early and you want them to travel and go and play, if they are not achieving anything, whom do you blame? Sometimes you blame administration. Administration, if we don't have finance, sometimes you blame coach, sometimes you blame players. But football these days in modern, in contemporary epoch, football is, is a financial investment. If you don't have finance, then don't, don't ask about results. But we are trying to keep South Sudan uh, engaged and competing. And uh, this is what we have been trying to do with all the difficulties. And we thank those supporters and the, the agents for ticketing. You know, the, we have a lot of liability with them because sometimes we run to them, say, give us tickets, we'll come and pay you later, it become very difficult to get that pay them back. So we are really running under a very difficult uh, environment. And that's why I don't blame coaches, because as an administration, we have to do our part so that you blame coach and you blame player. Now the coach here want to go to WOW, to go and go to Will, go to Yambio. Go. We are not facilitating him. When you have a woman national team to go and play, will you blame him? Because part of his project is not implemented. So these are real challenges and difficulties, and you media house, you need to understand. 
and that's why trust star become very crucial to us otherwise we could have no having no coach without trust star then we'll say that we don't have coach maybe Agustino may be a coach himself otherwise these are problem football is is a very expensive job sometimes you compare football with basket with volleyball is not our teams move 40, 40 people in one journey and our competition is so big. We have FIFA competition, we have Africa Cup Nation, we have uh, Sikafa competition, we have so many teams competing. So football is more expensive, it's not a simple game. And not, it's not a simple arrangement, it's not one national team. Uh, for, for, for us, we have basketball, we have one national team. Football, we have see the national team, we have Shan, we have under 23, we have under 20, we have under 17, we have under 15, we have a school competition, we have girls senior team under 20, under 17. Make them 10, 10 national teams. In other sport discipline, we have only national team or one national team, so make it more cheaper. But football is very expensive for you to achieve things you need to invest. Uh, to invest, then you get the result of national pride. And uh, we are ambassadors of our own country, we are ambassadors of our own people. So this is what you need to reflect, that we are here. You give us money, you get good results, you are happy. We don't have this, we don't prepare team in a, in a way that you you see a better result. It doesn't mean that we are not, we want to achieve results like, you know, when we struggle our soldiers, who, our heroes, they were struggling without money. But of course, sleeping in the bush sometimes don't require money. But sleeping in hotels, you want money. Traveling with a plane, you need money. It's not a footing thing that you move to Senegal with food. We have to take a plane to take you there. So resources are a major problem, are hindrance for our development in terms of uh, football profit. So you media is something that you need to do, knock at doors in a different way so that you convince other sectors, so whether private or public sector, to contribute to football development. Thank you. Thank you.